I just had to submit to pay off my student loan, which is exciting. But the thing is, is that I didn't really pay it off. I did in a way. Um, so basically, I paid it off, but I'm paying back myself um, <clears throat> the remaining amount. So I paid off my $8,940.52 student loan. Originally, it was like $10,000, almost $11,000 in student loans. And I know it's not bad compared to what a lot of other people have, but it's still a lot of money. And <laughs> so I'll slowly be paying myself back that amount. So what I'm planning to do is um, just, oh my God, words. <laughs> I'm going to do my monthly payments, but I'm just going to put it into my savings account rather than putting it here because I had a letter um, a few weeks ago saying that the my minimum due will, would raise. And so I'm just going to continue to pay my original minimum, $92.15, and um, put that into my savings account and then keep track of... Um, how much I've paid so that way once I'm like technically done paying off my student loan I'm good to go and I'm free and I don't have to worry about the interest in it because it's I'm just paying myself back <music> You guys can see but look how low the clouds are that is insane so the awkward moment when you start a wreath but they ran out of the gold that you have but they got a bunch of the red that you needed <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now <laughs> so since they don't have any more of my gold ribbon I'm just gonna make two wreaths. I think it should be enough to do two of these smaller ones. They are 18 inches in diameter so hopefully that's enough. And then I'm also picking up this basket that says let it snow to put on the entertainment center. Okay so right now I am cooking dinner. It was gonna be Korean fried chicken but I don't have any shoyu, so I forgot to stop by the grocery store, or I forgot to stop by um, the Asian grocery store to pick up shoyu. So it's just gonna be fried chicken and rice. Um, but we do have the sweet and sour sauce that we usually use for lumpia, this. So it's good too. And then I think I have banana ketchup as well. So I have condiments <laughs> that we can use with it. Um, I also was able to, like, it's, oh, it's so gross. I need to show you guys this. So since Chunky is sick, we've been, um, sorry if you can't really hear me, but since Chunky has been sick, we've been kind of lowering his food intake. <laughs> he is so hungry, poor puppy. Like, you can see him just sniffing. He has a really wet nose, so you can just see him sniffing the floor. Just looking for something to eat. Oh, he's licking the floor. Chunky, don't lick the floor. Buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't lick the floor. Oh, but he has a really wet nose. So even if he wasn't licking the floor, you can still see his like little sniffing streaks. But poor Bud Bud, he's been so hungry. But he hasn't taken a deuce. So I don't know if I could feed him more treats or more food so there he goes anyhow while i've been cooking i've been able to draft up my blog post that i'm was gonna work on on monday night um but i decided i'm gonna offer to pick up my sister and um just because i know my mom doesn't really like to travel down towards the strip so i figure i'll make it easier for her and just pick, pick, offer to pick up my sister um, and then I also wanted to give my family some of this. I found this at um, Walmart, but if you know, I think Jiffy Pop was the one that used to do it. Um, they had like these uh, marshmallow popcorn and it was so good. It was like one of my favorite snacks and I couldn't find it for a really long time. This is the closest that I've come to finding it. It's from Great Value. It's only $1.98 for six bags. So 
anyhow, I was going to give a few to my family so they can try it, but I think it would be like a throwback for them because we used to really love eating it. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead, finish up cooking dinner and probably call it for the evening. I'm so tired, but we still need to fold some laundry. The dishes are almost done, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I might be able to put them away and I have to cook chicken too for uh, Ryan's lunches. So I'm going to try to pack some of those as well. Um, I just might need to open my other container box. I have a stockpile of containers, so I'll probably need to open that. But other than that, that's it for today. It wasn't too exciting, um, but yeah, if anything happens, I'll go ahead and check in with you guys. But again, I'm not going to do Chunky's advent calendar today just because I don't know if he's back to feeling 100%. And even when he is, I'll probably do half the treats or even just break off a little bit and he can work his way through it later on. Um, but I think Friday we, we really overdid it with the treats. He had like two greenies. Um, your own, dogs are only supposed to have one. They had two greenies. He had his advent calendar treat and then I gave him another treat. And so I think it was just overboard with the treat that made him not feel too good. But that's on us. Um, so anyhow yeah i'll check in with you guys later